Hello everyone, welcome to the Grapes of the Podcast, a new podcast that I have with my GF, aka co-host Lens. Say hi. Hi. And today we will be talking about our uh, school year, our middle school years, to be precise, since we're high schoolers at the moment. We met in middle school and we're going to talk about it. So, yep. why don't, because I don't know much about sixth grade for you. Because I went there during 7th grade. I didn't have a 6th grade middle school time. So if you want to start off with that, some interesting facts about that, uh, that would be great. Well, again, we met in 7th grade. In 6th grade, it was scary. (laughs) Yeah, okay. Because I got held back in 5th grade. And... I thought I would be like with people that I know of for like probably the past five years in that school. But then I got held back and to go to a different school and I met new people, which was the best decision of my life, even though it was still scary. Sixth grade itself, it wasn't that bad for uh, our middle school. Like it was the teachers themselves were like giving us like a proper and nice easygoing moment yeah. at first and I don't I don't even remember much of sixth grade all I remember is that I'm, I was nervous and I'm thinking to myself ah oh, shoot yeah. well <laughs> and yeah. all I remember is is that some of the classes were were such a pain I just hated it so much especially English yeah English I had, does suck sometimes very i had a very hard time when i was little that my speech was very terrible and my grammar was very terrible Mm -hmm. and when you come with english in middle school in sixth grade you're thinking to yourself oh they're gonna take it easy on us it's gonna be fine no my english teacher was like giving us probably if i had to like rate how hard that class was probably probably a 9.5 out of 10 of how hard it was Jesus, okay um i don't remember her name but she was like she's nice well she was nice but she was sort of strict especially yeah. with you writing essays and getting it right i always get called to the, her desk to like correct myself and i always think to myself oh shoot i'm always gonna get in trouble from this teacher for now on yeah but but like after, uh, right now after realizing all that hard work in english it was not that bad and i really needed that push because <laughs> back then it was horrible i was very bad with english and writing and all that stuff but with that little push that she gave me even though it hurt yeah. a little it, it, it helped me and I remember like I, I don't know if you were told by this like in 6th grade we were doing like 2 weeks per semester so that yeah I heard about like, it from my sister about that cause she actually went yeah. through that oh she did? yeah cause since she was 5th grade when I moved uh, she experienced 6th grade like at our school oh I did not know that Mm-hmm. She well, was there in sixth grade when we were in eighth grade. I did not know that. Yeah. She even wrote yeah. a verse. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. <laughs> Anyways. Oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> Anyways. But I was very confused too. When I was in sixth grade, I was stupid. I was, I'm not like stupid to the point I would do bad things, but stupid enough to know this kind of information. Because I would usually pay attention, but then I'll forget it in like the next few minutes. And so I didn't know what was going on with the semester because like two weeks per semester and all that stuff or per election at least I think I don't know what they did or what they called it but it was very confusing like you'll be two weeks in drama and then the next two weeks you'll be like in a different class like art or PE yeah PE 
uh, um, computer lab and all that stuff. Yeah. That was confusing for me. When that two weeks happened, like at first for my two weeks was drama. And I love that class so much. Even though you have to like get on stage and perform in front of like probably like 10 to 15 people in there. It was so fun. But then when I heard about that, we switched different classes. I was so confused because I was like lost in the brain that like, am I supposed to be in drama class or am I supposed to be in a different class? Because it was yeah, so confusing. Yeah. And so, and then I had to go to the drama class teacher and I asked her about it. She's like, oh, you know, you're supposed to go to this class. I'm like, okay. <laughs> and then I went to that class and I remember spe uh, specifically that I walk into the class and one of the girls in the table is like, ooh, Lindsay's in, Linz is in trouble. She's late. I'm like, uh-uh. But the teacher was so nice and said, nah, nah, it's just that she was confused with the election stuff, so don't push her too hard. And it yeah. was, um, well, was it Mr. Cunningham or something? Oh, I, the I uh, engineering class? Yeah. The, yeah, 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 the engineering class. He was so nice. He was. Uh, and I'm like, okay, at least I made it. Yeah. <laughs> and know the information. Because they didn't give us, like, for, like, our schedule, they didn't tell us specifically where to do or what to do or where to go. And it's just very stupid. Mm -hmm. I just wish they would give out more information on that, but I guess it's not. <sighs> yeah. What about you? So my sixth grade year was actually spent at a elementary school because where I was was like it the school for middle schoolers didn't have like the capacity for all the kids. So what they did is that they kept the sixth graders because usually at our school it's like six to eight is like middle school years. So mm. for sixth grade. Uh, I was still in elementary school and I had <laughs> the easiest year of my life was sixth grade to be honest because I barely learned anything I went through like five teachers by the way this is elementary school so you only technically have one teacher but so I went through like five teachers the first teacher I really liked but he got fired because he was caught cursing at students oh. Uh, the second teacher was, I think, the assistant principal. She was there for a few weeks. Then it was uh, a sub that stuck around for a little bit. Then the assistant uh, principal again. And then a kindergartner teacher came to teach us for like the rest of the year. And all I remember is that we watched Harry Potter movies and we played Jenga. <laughs> and also, I was... We found a like Minecraft hack download where we could download it on the school computers. So whenever it was like computer lab time or whenever we were in another class, because that's also something that would happen. We would go to like a different class to do our work. But once we were done with our work, we could do whatever we wanted on the computers. So what everyone did is downloaded Minecraft onto the computers to, and we could actually play on servers with each other, which is pretty cool because it was, it was like in a land server uh so sixth grade was really easy for me i didn't go through any of what Lindsay went through and then the next year i was going to go to a really bad like really bad school your dad actually mentioned it once if you remember yeah i remember i was going to go to that school but i moved here and now i went to this our middle school so that's pretty much my story of the beginning of middle school. Technically elementary, but you know. Yeah. Now for seventh grade. Seventh, seventh grade, grade was a nice Honestly, introduction. The best year. Honestly, yeah. It's where I got to learn all my f new friends. We all hanged out. Well, I didn't hang out with all my main friends. I hanged out with like three people on the side table. And then like <laughs> after like, like three fourths of a year, I went to go hang out with my actual like good friends. Cause these guys weren't great. One of them kind of annoyed me a lot. So yeah. So I went to go hang out with them. Honestly, best experience I had hanging out over there. 
because I could actually like have fun, you know. It was people that I actually enjoyed hanging out with. Uh, my favorite class was probably multimedia. I really like, and if you look back at my other channel that I have, I really like doing animations, and I actually still have one of my uh, projects for that class on that channel. It's the uh, <laughs> it's the Egg uh, Jurassic Park video. I love that video. That video so is much. still on my channel, and I am I'm gonna keep it there because it's a good video. <laughs> I use that and. The teacher was so proud of that, and that's mainly why I love doing that sort of stuff. But, like, for like a year now, I kind of quit doing animation. I want to get back into it, but there's just nothing I'm interested in, like, song related stuff to animate. Because that's mainly what I like doing. Yeah. What about you? Seventh so grade was. Well. I don't know how to put it in words. I really liked it. It was probably one of my favorite years. I met like one, like few of the coolest teachers ever. It was besides a, the math teacher. I like. I well, the math teacher again with my English teacher in sixth grade. Like I didn't like her that much, and I bet she didn't like me either. But she like really helped me with like pushing me into like being better with English that's like the math teacher but it's just math because I'm horrible I'm still horrible at math sometimes yeah but like back then I didn't understand math at all it was horrible but that one math teacher in seventh grade really helped me and it was honestly the best decision of my life <laughs> honestly <laughs> to be in, to I be in that class that I hated math that year because it was my first year in like five years that I had to worry about homework. Oh my god. Because I didn't do homework. <laughs> I didn't do homework for the majority of my elementary year. And so going back to doing like homework every they single didn't give day. You homework? No, they didn't give me homework back in elementary. Well, I did they get didn't... some, but like not to the extent of what happened in math class. I remember in elementary school is the one before I got held back gave me a lot of freaking homework like to the point where you think that you were supposed to know this stuff even though they like teach you one portion of it and you they expect you to do it correctly I don't even remember much of it but I hated social studies because they don't give us enough information on what was going on it's like one of those big yeah. history books that they would usually have and they just like put us in a corner and just expect us to notice by her reading it or the teacher reading it out loud thinking that we will know what George Washington did we will know what <laughs> Thomas and Jefferson yeah, did yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm like I'm probably 11 years old and I'm I'm just sitting here thinking why would I want to know this this is boring give us <laughs> give us like a another story time but not let us learn about history anyways seventh grade uh honestly social studies was one of the worst classes but was also like one of my favorite classes especially because of the teacher and that's where we yes. met for the first time technically that's, yeah that's where we met where... we had the same social studies class that year and my god it was so fun to be in that class it was sometimes so so funny and then, i love uh, Ryan was also their other friend. Yeah. He was pretty cool too. I still talk to him sometimes. I haven't talked to him in a while. So. Well, I don't talk to him in like online, but like I'll see him in the halls and we'll handshake and all that. Yeah, same here. Yeah. Uh, but. but <laughs> it was, it's like this really old teacher that's been teaching for like, like, 50 years or something like that I know she's been Probably. teaching for a while and I remember uh, there was uh, that one day where I was chosen as like an executive leader remember that we went outside and someone called a random number and that was me that was my number and so I became like a leader or something in another day do you remember that I don't, I don't remember that 
Like we were outside in the parking lot. I think there I was... know we were outside, but I don't remember what we did. Exactly. I don't remember exactly either. I just remember I was the lucky one to be chosen. I don't think I was paying attention because like I was just minding my own business and uh, spacing out in fairy tale or something. I don't know what I was doing, but it was so weird but fun. Yeah. My favorite part of that class is her just like I forgot the other teacher's name. He he teached like the other seventh graders, right? He, no, he teaches the sixth graders. Some and he like, teaches sixth, sixth graders, yeah. and she would like go in the classroom and just basically bully them for. Remember one <laughs> time, one time she grabbed the uh, learning stick, aka a, pl- a plank of wood, and she's like, "I'm gonna go," because the, the teacher came in and he's like, "Yeah, these they think you're better than me," and she was like, "Oh, really?" She got the learning stick. She went over and like everyone, <laughs> everyone was just sitting around, and then all you hear is, "Bam!" Bam! 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 <laughs> started laughing so loud. It's hilarious. Remember the damn project? Oh, don't even remind me. The okay. damn project. So, so we, <laughs> I want to explain it. Yeah. You so explain. we have to do like some sort of damn project where we have to talk about some certain damn that we were chosen to do, and apparently there will be judges. No, 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 no. Remember, it was like renewable energy, and we got picking for dams as renewable oh, energy. Okay. But there were judges, that, like our seventh grade the principal. principal was there. But, like uh, they just Which chose like three. Which was a pretty cool principal. I appreciate him a lot. He he was a cool principal, but oh my gosh, I remember you editing most of the, the slideshow well, the pro- for the, the problem, damn project. The problem with it is that I wanted to include the actual like video of us because we recorded it we didn't just like audio record it we recorded ourselves talking in front of a whiteboard and when i got the footage from ryan the whole thing was like in 50 pixels <laughs> like you couldn't tell what was happening and so i basically had only the audio and so what i had to do was do like a little slide presentation because i had that's all i could work with and Unfortunately, remember it was two teams. I remember it was like Ben and someone else, and it was our team. And Mm -hmm. they won on the rating because theirs was like way funnier and stuff. But I I tried my I feel like I did the most work because I had to I had to talk and also edit the video. Oh god. I I, I didn't even talk throughout the project. I I was just you offered to edit, but I was like, no, I got it, I got it. You, 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 but and then it just turned into this kind of mess. It was so what, embarrassing. What would, you, what would you do with 50 pixels of footage? I I don't know. <laughs> exactly. I did what I did. That was probably the what best was thing another project? What was another project that we did in that class? That in social studies? Wasn't or... there like another project that we did? I don't Should we know. talk about like how we met met <laughs> yeah so because it was just so you, you, awkward yeah weird. so it's we both had a, a second period what do you have a uh, first period science yeah you had science i had literacy which sucked i remember i oh, hated right. that teacher and you I know what was annoying too. i had her for um what was it like the in-between class of like where a teacher checks your grades and like helps you and all that. Advisory. Advisory, yeah. So I was in her advisory too. So I went to her class first thing in the morning, went to social studies, and then went back to her class. Oh my god. Oh, it was so- pain. It was pain. But yeah. Uh so on the first day, everyone was in, and then I walk in. And what'd you say that I looked like to you? Uh, what did I say? What did I, I say? I remember you saying like I, I look like a bully or something, and then it turned yes, out that I wasn't. Did. You looked like a bully. Like Be- I remember because of my hair. I remember right? the, yes, I remember 
Miss Numo, like, she shows her screen and just checks, like, um, everyone's, uh, like, if someone's there or, like, some student is missing or gone or something. Yeah. And I remember seeing a picture of you. I'm like, I've never seen this guy before. And I, I, and I was so scared to look at you. I don't know why, but I just yeah. felt like this guy looks like a bully. He, he probably is me. He probably has some very bad issues. And I'm like, I did, but oh. you know, I <laughs> we all have issues. Yeah, but but anyway, it was just so weird. I, I, I don't know why I thought that. I was like. I think this guy will probably punch me in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't that type of person. I know you're not. But when we first actually met, I, I don't know. I think it was some sort of group project. I don't know what. Yeah, because I, I, remember... I knew Ryan from uh, Multimedia that year. And so he invited me to hang out with you for the group project. And that's how we really began knowing each other. Yeah, I remember Ryan being in front of you, and that and I saw you two, like, talking, and I'm like, okay, might as well just go and introduce myself. It was so awkward. I was just walking so casually, and I'm just standing there, <laughs> like, one of those emo uh, standing emojis, and it's just so <laughs> awkward. And I'm like, what should I say to this guy? What, sh what should I say? Should I compliment his hair? And I look, and I see a cat shirt, and I'm like, he likes cats. Yeah. Might as well just be nice and say, yeah, I you, I don't know why I said, I think I said, nice, nice shirt. cat shirt. <laughs> and, and you're like, thanks. Uh, like, not not just a verbally loud thanks, you're just like, thanks. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I, was, um, I was really shy back then because I knew nobody. <laughs> and then after that, it was completely silence. It was awkward again. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know what I you're still have about. a lot of the shirts I wore in middle school. Oh, I think I remember clearly what t-shirt was. I think it, it was, was like the tie-dye. Yeah, it was the tie-dye with the cat on the rocket, wasn't it? I'm like, I'm, I'm like, was it? No, are you talking about my uh, weed cat shirt? Yes. <laughs> was it I, that one? I don't know. You're either talking about the rocket one or that one. I don't know. It's about either one. I just saw you wearing a cat shirt, and I'm like, ah, I might as well just compliment his shirt because I like cats, he likes cats, might as well have some sort of friendship, I don't know what. Yeah, okay. But we didn't talk that much during 7th grade. No, eighth we didn't grade, talk much. 8th grade is when eighth we grade. really got to know each other. Yeah, especially during quarantine. <laughs> yeah, because, okay, let me go off topic a bit about that one shirt, the wee cat shirt. So... In, like, last year, whenever that, like, our principal came, like, to bring us into the uh, gym to bring up rules and stuff, I wore that shirt. And I remember specifically, she said, like, no shirts involving drugs, sex, all oh. that. And I was wearing it, I was like, oh. And I remember just <laughs> zipping up my sh my jacket, just like, I ain't doing nothing. <laughs> this is not, I, I this is not. Doing that. I'm totally not wearing a cat shirt that has smoking representation of weed. I totally don't have that. <laughs> yeah. It's a regular cat shirt. Don't worry. Yeah, so uh, off topic. Let's uh, go back to our middle school years. Um, our friends that we knew in middle school, we only know, like, or we are friends with still, like, only a few of them. Brian yeah. Being one of them and some others. A lot of us like broke uh, broke off from each yeah. other. Yeah. yeah. But that it's how it is. But I'm still like like friends with those people. Not all of them. Best just... friends, friends, you know. Yeah, especially Skylet. If you don't know, if any of you don't look at my channel or have like seen my older content i've included my be in real life best friend skyla into some videos she also had a youtube channel but she doesn't know no longer do youtube videos on that channel but she'll do some on another channel but i oh, remember she's making a new channel do stuff yeah she's uh another friend of hers is doing like some sort of story lore thing for like made up OCs and mm, are making okay. a channel including like with the story 
and I'm like, oh, that's cool. Okay, okay. I, might, I might as well just abandon my ch channel and just do a bunch of stuff that I want to do, but... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's basically what I did with my... Uh... Okay, wait, no, no, no. Let's talk about that for another day, because that's probably going to be what episode two is about. Our YouTube experience. Let's go back on track to middle mm -hmm. school years. Um, yeah, so our friends that we knew, it was great for the time because I could interact with each other and like it get my social anxiety like off of me whenever I was talking to people. And yeah. what I'm doing now requires a lot of social activity because I'm doing journalism stuff. And so I got to do interviews. I got to talk to people, you know, all sorts of things. I'm always emailing people too. I get so annoyed because people are not looking at their emails. <laughs> it takes like a week. There's, and sometimes there's I, me. I'm not. No, sometimes not we like have that. to cancel articles because people will not look at their emails. I, I always look at my email no matter what it is i feel like i'll probably forget something or that i'm scared that i will miss something important so i always check my emails after every day of yeah. school but <laughs> but like with you saying that you're doing that for yourself or like with social anxiety and just doing journalism and then there's me i'm the opposite i don't want to do that kind of stuff but but you go at it. It's also to hang out with more friends. Um, yeah. Me actually being in the class made you meet one of your new like friend friends, right? Yeah. Jordan. This is off topic. We're in high yeah. school. Yeah, we're talking, we're talking about, about high school. school but we're what, mostly what else trying we to touch about middle, middle school. About middle school. What else? Oh, I want to talk about our lunch table stories. Oh, There's... God, yeah. Oh, my God. It was they still crazy. have our yearbook of eighth grade i think and i have i have for like seventh and eighth grade i think yeah, yeah. and anyways there's two stories i want to say the la the second story i'm saving it for last because it involves you and me yeah but the first one is where i'm so the t like imagine a table imagine i'm there's like two sides for like two chairs it's like bench tables yeah. but they're like school tables so i remember me being on the right side and ryan was sitting next to me and another friend was sitting next to him and there was another friend sitting next to me including her ex-boyfriend now and then yeah. i i remember Skyla being in front of me but you were in front of me too like I could see you both in both ways and there's like another friend besides Skyla and I remember Ryan Ryan gets out like the most boring but like <laughs> so <laughs> unhealthy lunches like all he packs is a, a brown paper bag with one orange one lunchable and one small bottle of no water. sometimes sometimes it's just a, a water bottle and an orange yeah <laughs> and it was so weird but he always messes with his food because he never really eats that much in which i understand but i remember one time he was messing with his water bottle it was all empty and he was messing with the bottle cap and I was watching him because it was just so weird and we were like all laughing. And Ryan uh, was about to flick the uh, bottle cap. He was like facing it at me. But when he hit it, it hit the, <laughs> it hit my glasses. It was so funny. I don't know if nobody noticed, but me and Ryan were started laughing so hard that he just accident accidentally flicked a bottle cap like, <laughs> to my glasses. <laughs> It was so weird. It was so funny. Yeah, that's <laughs> Second story. This one will probably embarrass Ryder because I remember so clearly. I'll pro it's probably called the <laughs> Mountain Dew incident, but it's not really an incident. <laughs> but it involves, it involves you with drinking a freaking Mountain Dew bottle. Yeah. I remember. I, I finished my lunch. I was just listening to like another conversation that Ryan and Skyler were talking about. And I was like, hmm, I probably should like check on my other side because I don't want people to not be included in, in like other conversations. And I turn and I see you 
you were looking at me with your <laughs> drinking your Mountain Dew bottle, but then when I noticed you were looking at me, you turned away so quickly to the point you're covering your Mountain Dew bottle <laughs> from your face so that I won't know that you were looking at me. It was so funny, and I just like smiled it off because I'm like, mm, is this what is this boy doing? Why is he looking at me? Mm, I don't know, but. Oh yeah, my God. I had a crush for for the longest time. Uh, ever since we got to really know each other in seventh grade. Yeah. Well, so, I wouldn't there say was that. that much. I wouldn't say that much in seventh grade, but in eighth grade we. In eighth grade, really it grade. really developed. Yeah. Anyways, that's much about <laughs> seventh grade. Let's hop into eighth grade, in which. Quarantine mostly happened. <laughs> yeah, so before we talk about what mainly happened in 8th grade, um, during our 8th grade year, uh, it was Corona season. It was 2020, pretty much. And so in March, uh, it was like everyone was like really scared of what was to happen. And so we were supposed to have an extended spring break. Then, it, yeah, I then after like that, like they were gonna say, if this doesn't stop by like some like April or something, or something like that, we'll cancel the rest of the school year and all that, which that did happen. We actually and go to online. Yeah, but online didn't. They told us that we didn't need to do online. Yeah, I remember. Uh, I know this is off topic, but I remember when this happened that my mom was like, okay, we gotta wake up early, we gotta do some like school activity. School activity. I'm like, no, we don't. And I remember the first day when quarantine happened or when we first got into basically online school. And that I we, I had to wake up early. My brother had to wake up early. We had to do some school activities like recess, lunch, and do our classes. Your mother made our... you do for recess and lunch? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and we went to the freaking... Like, are you... I don't, I don't know how to explain my yard. It's not basically a backyard, but it's just a yard. I don't know what. It's so cramped, too. And I'm like, this is like the most stupidest thing. But after that day, we didn't do, it. <laughs> we didn't do it again. <laughs> we realized that it's boring and no one wants to do it. <laughs> we just like wake up whenever we could and just do our schoolwork. But it I wasn't required. Doing... Yeah, it wasn't required. I was so which close I was to so up, glad about because honestly, I hate online school because you don't learn because what i like i like learning from like an actual person like a teacher telling me irl what to do instead of just looking at things like looking at worksheets and learning off them i don't learn that way that well so i prefer a teacher like telling me about it uh so i'm so glad we didn't have to do it but for the beginning of our high school years we were like on a schedule where it was like it was a b so which sucked for both of us because she was on a schedule i was on b schedule and so she would go on monday tuesdays and i would go on thursday fridays and the days we didn't go to school we would have to do online and my god my grades dropped usually i have a's and b's my grades drop from B's and all the way to like D's and F's sometimes. Like it yeah. really sucked for me. I remember I had to get Lindsay to help me with English because I was the. Cause <laughs> my God, I did not like English class that year. <laughs> yeah, we had the we had we we had the same teacher we're, but we're different at, hours. We're at holding contests. We're at contests. This is high school, not eighth I know, grade. but so it's still- it's it's talking about online school but yeah yeah it was horrible so very eighth grade i don't remember much about eighth grade besides the quarantine stuff yeah i remember us having the same english class class. we did have the same english class yeah well we didn't have it no we had the same math class yeah we did but like 
Yeah, we did. <laughs> Not English. I don't think we have the same English class. Well, we had the same teacher. We had the same teacher, not the same class. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, you weren't Pacific. <laughs> yeah, anyways, anyways, yes, I remember. Well, we were. I we had the same class in multimedia, but then I left <laughs> after like probably a few weeks in because I had to do more English stuff, yeah. which was like. I, I, don't, I don't know what they called it. I don't it know was what like, they called uh, it. I don't remember either. It was probably STEM, I think. I don't know. I think it was like STEM English or yeah, whatever. STEM. Yeah, STEM English. And honestly, I really liked that class because I had my the, our English teacher in 8th grade as one of the teachers that oh, we right, usually teach. Oh, right. Now I remember her. Yeah. Yeah, I had yeah. her for 5th hour? Yeah, like, fifth hour. I, I, I had her for fifth hour, hour, and you had it for six hour. Yeah, and we would usually walk by, and you would like tell me what is going to happen. You had the happen. same class with uh, Robbie, right? Yes, and Skyla. Yeah, I remember that. Okay, but yeah, honestly, Anyways. I love that was probably my favorite teacher that year. But I could not handle the kids in my class. Oh my god, they were so annoying. It was all the like athletic kids, which are all like punky and like just not cool like the kids i had in my uh, english class was all like mean girls and mean boys like if mean girls was a movie but for like eighth grade 2020 version <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was really but, fun in that class. but yeah we had math uh, the same math class yeah in which i thought that was like pretty cool and that's what that's like the only moment we got to actually know each other mm -hmm. yeah because we've really talked a lot i just wish yeah. we could participate in new more projects together yeah but i was pulled in with another friend who is now my ex-friend even though we are like mutual with with each other yeah. but not like friends friends sort of mutual talk or something like that but mm -hmm. But, like, I remember her just pulling me into projects, even though I wanted to try to get with you sometimes. Yeah, same here. But I remember you were also getting pulled with other Grayson. kids. <laughs> Grayson It was and... Grayson and CJ. Uh, I'm not... I, I, I really didn't like Grace, Grayson. If Grayson is, like, somehow listening to this, and uh, I, I'm like, well, I'm sorry, Grayson. I... I... I I remember he tried adding from... me on Fortnite, and I just never did. Oh my god. Because he gave me his, I, like, Grace... gamer tag and all that, and I just never added him. Yeah, Grace, uh, Grayson, you, you were a smart kid, but we we didn't like you that much. I'm <laughs> sorry, man. <laughs> and there was, like, an, there was oh, like another... Right. I shared English class with him, too, so... Oh my god. That, that, that must be a pain. Yeah. But yeah. Grayson, if you're somehow listening to this, and oh, if you I remember, know him, yeah, if you're listening to this, I still respect you, but not like as a friend. Well, we're we're gonna get canceled for this. <laughs> <laughs> Lens and Ryder bullies a child named Grayson that was in eighth grade in math. Class. Ends up trending on Twitter. Got it. <laughs> anyway, she also, stole the Ella, Ella had to deal with Grayson in that class as well. Ella? Really? Yeah. Oh, Ella's, oh my god. I remember I was with that annoying kid that annoyed me a lot during 7th grade. Uh, Tatum. You remember? Oh god. He yes, was also in that class. Ah, oh, that and must also, be And also, uh, I think her name's like Ashley or something. You know her. Ashlyn? Ashlyn, yeah. Yeah, I remember Ashlyn. He was also in there. Yeah. I bet that was a fun experience. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember it was just that entire table. Ashlyn, Grayson, Tatum, Ella, me. <laughs> That's I think funny. someone else, I don't remember. It was always, like, in that English class, it was always me, Skyla, and Robbie. Yeah. It, it's uh, just us three. And we were just, like, I don't know what we would call each other, but, like, we're some sort of team. <laughs> I remember no matter it. what. My favorite part of that class was when we were reading the uh, murder mystery book. I forget what it's called. Oh, yeah, I remember. I remember reading. Uh, 
Like, there was like weren't three you of them. Ki- you were the killer, weren't you? In yes, I was. I was the killer. I was a great <laughs> actor. You would have heard me scream in that book because Miss Gallagher was like, she wanted, I, I, I wanted to volunteer. And a- after that one moment with me screaming the top of my lungs as the, like, the killer, she was so, I, I wouldn't call it mesmerized, but so <laughs> flabbergasted of what I just did. And she, and every time there was a freaking killer in the book, she would always come to me. Nice. It was uh, so. I was the uh, general. I remember and whenever i was talking i would always try to pull in russian accent because i was always feeling oh. like it's the ex-russian general oh and i always try to pull the accent i can't do it anymore i don't remember how it sounds but i always try to pull it and i remember i still have the hat i have a like one of those like russian like you i don't know what they're called Soviet but, union or something yeah it has a soviet <laughs> union badge on it it's like yeah. a, it's like one of those hats that like can fold up or can go over your ears. I don't know what they're called, yeah. but I have one of those. And I remember I would bring it to that class specifically for that. So I remember. I, oh, sorry. No, I'm gonna go on. I remember you bringing that hat to math class, and I saw you wearing it, and I was like. Ooh, can I wear it? Can I wear it for for a bit? And you just like give it to me. I'm like, <laughs> I'm Russian now, circus. <laughs> God, I can't. I don't remember how I sounded with that accent. I don't remember. I just remember I did it. And I remember Miss Gallagher loved it. Yeah, Miss Miss Gallagher still follows me on Instagram, and if she somehow sees this or hears this. We, I still, I love you as a teacher, and I, I, I'm like, I'm so thankful that I, I met you in English class, and that you were, you will always be one of my favorite English teachers. It's so funny. Yeah. Same here, same here. Uh, yeah. So, uh, what was your overall feeling of middle school? If you want to wrap it up now. Uh. Middle school was all right. Seventh grade was probably like one of my best years out of like eighth grade and sixth grade itself. I like eighth grade, but seventh grade top notch it with eighth grade. Seventh grade top notch did that feel as well, yeah. But yeah, middle school was okay. It was very okay. People are in middle school right now. Prepare yourself to be in high school if you're in eighth grade or whatever grade you're in yeah because oh my god you know what really suffer. annoys me about middle school though they always made you use the lockers at our high school yes we don't even have oh lockers my god. <laughs> i no, hated that so much because i always wanted to carry my stuff around i always found it so convenient because sometimes i would be late to classes because of it you no, know? because I I hated our uh, middle school lockers because of how tight the freaking hallway is. Yeah, like, there's people there's... walking by. And there's, like, a huge pile of people while you're just kneeling down and using your watch. I, I had the top locker in 8th grade, but I had the bottom locker in 7th grade. So I had I had the top locker for 6th and 7th grade. Well, but when 8th grade came in, they are like, nope, here's the bottom locker. Get ready to be massacred with a bunch of freaking groups of people. I remember, I remember everyone just kept their lockers unlocked because it was so easier just to... Because honestly, yes, I, I, I didn't remember my combination. I, I did if that If it was too. locked, well, I'm going to leave my stuff in there because I ain't going to get back in. <laughs> Yeah, I remember that little trick too. It was always huge. Everyone no kept their lockers unlocked. Like everyone, you would rarely find one that was locked. Yeah. God. <laughs> so for me, middle school was pretty good. A good introduction to the school district and all that. Honestly, I would give it like a eight out of ten overall. Same here. Seventh grade was like a nine out of ten, and like. 8th grade was like a 7th, I'd say. So, middle of the road, 8. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. Middle school was okay. I can't talk about 6th grade there, but 
like seventh and eighth. I'd rate as like an eight. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> yeah, Alright, so that is the end of the first episode of the podcast. If you want to comment some topics that you want to talk about in the next couple of episodes, uh, the next episode will be about our YouTube experiences on the platform. Because, oh boy, we got a lot to talk about there. Anyway, a lot. Yeah. Anyway, we'll uh, talk to you guys in the next episode. Thank you for joining us on the Grapes of the Podcast. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye-bye.